just ruining it for everyone. We're never gonna get to our fucking destination because of this piece of shit here. Fucking, fucking ruining it for everyone right now. Fucking the reason why you won't have any content is because of this asshole right here. <laughs> Today we'll talk a little bit about Mr. Roy. After I visited this beautiful cabin in the woods, all I had was questions. And I began my journey to find out who was the person who lived in this cabin. So Mr. Roy was born in the early 1900s and he was raised by both parents. His father was a coffee importer and his mom was a um, beautiful woman, very religious and believed that God was going to come. You know, that God would return to the earth one day and she was waiting for that. At a young age, Mr. Roy learned about his mom's religion. He wasn't very interested in it, but he had an experience. He had an experience where he shared that he had a visit from a man with a long beard. And in this vision, the man came gave him a ring and took a ring from him and this seemed to have changed his beliefs and um, opened him up to learning more about his mom's religion. Later on in life, Mr. Roy had decided after working at his father's business that he wanted to relocate and he relocated to the New England area. Mr. Roy wanted to build a cabin in the woods. Um, wanted to lead a humble, peaceful life and follow his religion. And that's what he did. He, he bought this property. He built a cabin, a five bedroom cabin that had a sink in every bedroom. It had the most gorgeous fireplace and what I would say has to be the most beautiful log cabin I've ever seen built by a person anyways um, at this property Mr. Roy would welcome people from all over the world um, and he was endeared to many people loved him and uh, people wanted to be around him so he would have visitors who would help him with farming he would have visitors who would come stay with him um, and he also traveled himself to talk about this religion that he was so invested in. On his property, Mr. Roy did farming. He grew, he raised goats and he um, bred German shepherds. Mr. Roy passed away in 1951. I just cannot get enough. There's so much to say, but I would like to keep a little bit of his story private. I'm not saying his full name. I'm not sharing his religion and I'm not sharing the location. I'm saying New England because you'll see in this video, this cabin is still in perfect condition. Let's keep it that way. Anyways, enjoy. This is living my joy taking on a new place and hoping to bring it to you to enjoy just as much as I did. So follow me and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, more content coming, but for today, we're gonna be taking on this path and you will be hearing me breathe. I am walking on an inclination of about 45 degrees. I don't know, this motherfucker is just going straight up the hill here, so. I'm stopping to breathe. Urbex Brandy, she's ready to go. It just goes to show how out of shape I am after my little Iron Man marathon last weekend. All right, let's do this. Shaking my head at my partner for today. She didn't warn me. She just said, hey, let's go to this place. It's in the woods. It's a beautiful place. You're gonna love it. As we were driving out here, I said to her, all right, hit me with the specifics, like how long is it going to be to get there? What's the walking like? It's fine. It's 
just gonna be a quick walk through the woods. Shouldn't have any issues. I've been walking steady uphill now for 15 minutes and it's not ending. This better be worth it. The walk up here was brutal, but we finally made it. Headed in. Look at this majesticness. Look at that. Oh my God, I love it. It's awesome. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. It was in better shape last time. But... Oh my goodness. It's just, this is just beautiful. So maybe others have been staying here, bringing water. Let's get this shot from right here. you say when you just love log cabins and you leave your house to go to a log, a log cabin that's abandoned <laughs> this is so pretty a log cabin though so who the hell knows i mean log cabins just they sustain they sustain this is almost 100 years old and it's not even being taken care of and look at it Just look. Just look. I'm gonna head upstairs now. No, what's up with the hair or well, whatever that is? Look how old. roof is in perfect like there are no issues with this roof whatsoever Oh, you could see straight down to the floor underneath. Through the heater. Oh, is this a room? Okay, now watch the floors here. Where? Like around the, uh, the balcony there. It's in pretty rough shape. So in this room here? No, in this, around the balcony. Oh, okay, right here. Something's been coming in here. See how the hole is in the floor to send the heat up from the fireplace. And there's a hole in the roof over there. I don't know why, but there is a hole. Well, it kind of looks like my cabin if I had a second floor. Oh, 
All right, my people, I have made it up to this beautiful deck of this 100-year-old log cabin that looks like it is in the most pristine condition. Time has hit it a little, but not as much as you would think. And I'm just going to take a seat right here and just look at this like you imagine. Oh, hopefully the chair doesn't pinch me in the crack of my ass right there. Oh, let's sit right here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Should have brought that vodka. Yep. I like it here. Oh shit, you can go all the way around. Oh man. This is amazing. Can I have this built on the front of my house? Like, oh my goodness. The logs are getting eaten up up there by the weather. But you can cut those off probably and still be good. Freshen them up. Little chinking. That's all you need is a little chinking and fresh paint. Repair those couple of spots where actually just add a metal roof. You add a metal roof, yeah, seal the hole and it's good to go. Is it like the so Urbex Brandy, tell the story of the cabin and the stuff behind it with the person. So I don't remember how I found this cabin. It's a couple of years ago, but online there's a story about a spy that supposedly lived here, and they think the person was a spy because there was some lights flashing. And um, like, yeah, do you think they flashed them out of here? That maybe. It was a spy. Well, you know the radar tower. Yes. They used to think similar and be looking out for lights and stuff like that back then in that time. So if you say a hundred years, I don't know. Like how far does the light travel through the mountains? Like what the hell was they thinking? But that's a that's an interesting story. You know your hat matches with the house, Brandy. So my people, we made it up to the cabin and it is gorgeous. I wanna thank my buddy for finding this spot, bringing us up here. This place is isolated up in the mountains. It took us at least two hours to climb up the uh, ski trail to get here, but we made it. We made it, it was treacherous. My calves are hurting, I'm out of shape. Although I did do the Ironman competition last weekend, um, I'm still recovering, but I'm here and we did it. What's up, Brandy? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. So there is another cabin behind this, Brandy. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, yeah. There it's are two more back there. Interesting interior in that place. Mom. Are we going to those two? Of course we are. Oh, there's more here. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. There's not just this place. There's more. All right, I'm going to give you some deck loving. Beautiful. I love that door. All right, I'm gonna go into the kitchen. There's rose quartz. Look at these boulders. 
my daughter would love that crystal. She would be like, oh my God, let me take a picture. Tell her I got a crystal for her. All right, let's check out this kitchen. Stone fireplace, just the way it was built. It's gorgeous. These old, old refrigerators don't even have to open the door. They're open already for you. Ooh. Ooh, something made a house here. Hmm. Cupboards and the window. deck and a bathroom can't open the door but it's like another deck with tables let me see if i could get this out of here so you could see but it's locked this was the kitchen part Like the beams aren't even touching. Them. See, it's like someone sprayed asbestos foam everywhere. Mm. Like the inside is all like that too. And the back is knocked down. The back of the house fell in yeah. over there.
So you gotta go to the front of this or something? Look at how this shifted, all shifted right there. said this was a camp so they sprayed this with asbestos on the inside yeah. the fuck Oh, I touched it. It's okay. Am I gonna die? Later. I'm gonna die. So this is just a hazard. Oh yeah, this is fucked. There's people writing in it too. They don't even know what it is. Nope. I just put my hand in it. You have any sanitizer or anything? Or will that rub it in? I don't think sanitizer is All children that came here for camp now have some type of cancer. What is it? Mesothelioma? You came here in the 1960s. If you stayed at the such and such and you are having symptoms Maybe of being unable to breathe, walk, shit, eat, whatever it may be that you want to do that you can't do now because you was here, Give us a call. Shannon McCormick? McCormick Wicks is going to help you, represent you. You will not be charged any money unless she wins your trial, your case. This is where it fell. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, this is Shannon McCormick Wits. If you stayed at this camp in the 1960s, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Children were subject to this. Spray asbestos insulation. <laughs> they just kept it raw. That's so fucked. So you could just roam around and just get asbestos in here as much as you wanted. And people come here and write on the walls without even knowing what the hell is on them. Isn't that something? Mike and Sandra, call Shannon McCormick Wicks if you're having any symptoms. Look at that view. Just look at it. We came just to hug on this rose quartz stone and get it in. Oh my goodness. It's pretty awesome. Is it pretty awesome? It's awesome. It's just awesome.
hugging the cords. Wow, can we take the rock? I can't take it. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. We're gonna have to come here and visit the rock. Oh my god, look at the rock. Look at the size of it. It's half of my body. Who knows how deep this goes, too? This rock is absolutely beautiful. The rock. Let's just take a second to take in the majesticness. Just look at that. Look at that. Could you just... Oh, my God. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, my God. Somebody's going to be like, could she just shut the hell up with the oh, my God? It's just sitting here. I didn't notice this. What the... It I is... Came here like twice. Sitting here at it, and as I get up on it, all I see is beautiful pink. Like, what is this doing here? Let me just go around it and show you how incredible. Look at that. Look at it. Just Somebody has chipped away at it, and I wish that I had something to chip away myself and take a piece. Just, it's like you could see through it, and it's just sitting here by itself. Rose quartz. And I'm just appreciating whoever built this. They use all the natural elements that are out here. So the steps are even stone. The foundation is stone. The fireplace is all stones. And the walkway is just all beautiful stones all the way. Wrought iron banisters. Hi, log cabin. Oh, they're just out here. Look at this. Oh, my God. They're just out here, just all over the property. How majestic. Just, oh. This is gorgeous. What the? Oh, my God, another one.